Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm so glad to be here with you for another word for the day. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 9 and verses 18 through 23. And this teaching is on the parable of the sower. Uh, so just for context here, there's a large crowd gathering around Jesus down by the lake. And uh, so he got in the boat down by the shoreline uh, and he sat down, which would have been customary for a teacher to do. And so he spoke to this crowd standing on the shore. And, and fun fact, uh, historians are not 100 percent sure, uh, but they think they believe uh, the ex- they know where the exact spot is uh, where this teaching took place because they've done experiments at this specific area of shore in Israel and they place a boat on the shoreline. And uh, a single voice can carry a very large distance because of this amphitheater style uh, formation of the land. So a large number of people uh, could have uh, heard his voice from the shoreline. Uh, Anyways, let's start by reading uh, the red letters in verse 3 here. Jesus says, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil, It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what it was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. So this illustration Jesus was giving to the Jews would have been somewhat understandable because most would have been given uh, or most would have had knowledge in uh, growing crops and farming. So uh, they would have understood this concept for the most part. But it says even the disciples came to Jesus and asked why he's speaking to uh, them in parables. Uh, So let's uh, continue in, in verse 11. He replied, because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has, wi- whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. This is why I speak to them in parables. You see, the disciples were followers of Jesus. They had come in to a trusting faith and relationship with Jesus, and therefore would have been given insight into the, king, into the things of the kingdom of heaven, just like we have as followers of Jesus. But Jesus is speaking to the Jews who follow the law of Moses and a works-based salvation, and most had no idea they were speaking to the new Moses, the one who came to fulfill the law. Jesus said, through seeing they do not see, through hearing they do not hear or understand. He goes on to say, for this people's heart has become calloused. Uh, I know in my own backsliding as a Christian, uh, I fell victim to all those. Uh, So what does this parable mean? Well, in verse 18, Jesus actually explains. He says, Listen then to what this parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in the heart. This is the seed sown along the path. And uh, I've been guilty of this. I've heard a great message, a, a great sermon, and I did nothing with it. All I did was just hear it. And so uh, nothing happened, uh, therefore. Uh, The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy, but since they have no root, they only last a short time. When trouble or persecution comes, because of the word, they quickly fall away. Okay, that's happened to me so many times. Okay, the trials and tribulations of life come, the storms of life come, and uh, I I can't handle the adversity, and so I I fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and deceitfulness of wealth choke the word and make it unfruitful. Uh, I've chased after wealth, and uh, it ended up leaning on my own understanding, and so uh, I I fell away in that regard. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 and 30 times what was sown. And this didn't happen to me until I truly surrendered my life to the Lord, where the, the seeds, the, the word of God uh, started to take root in my heart and, uh, and it was starting to bear fruit. So in the parable of the sower, we see a farmer scattering good seed over the soil. Is God's word falling on barren soil or amongst rock and thorns? Or is God's word falling on fertile soil and taking root in your heart, going from a hearer of the word to a doer of the word? 
taking your faith into action, turning your knowledge into wisdom, and ultimately bearing fruit for the kingdom. I hope this message was timely, and I hope you were blessed. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.